Um, uh, hey guys, uh, it's me, the player dash, and today I'll be reacting to uh, Rashawn's My Little Pony a, Mar a Maritime Bay Adventure Review. And before I start this, I, I, I just want to tell you guys that uh, I've decided to give Generation 5 a chance and in my opinion, it's not that bad, but I just feel like the story itself is a little weird, in my opinion. Yeah, but that's all I'm going to say for now. Uh, I'll probably make a separate video about that another time. But anyways, let's get right into this reaction video. Hello everyone, the Shadow Key Pony here, and yesterday I played the new My Little Pony game. Before I start the review, I'm going to be spoiling the game, so if you haven't played the game, you need to go and play it before watching the video. Because okay, uh, uh, I'm also going to, <coughs> I'm also going to, I'm also going to, I'm also going to be like Rashawn here too, and tell you guys if, you know, if you haven't played this game yet, go play it. But you know, but, but you know, I don't really care about spoilers because I don't really care about playing the game. So if you don't care about spoilers, keep watching. But if you care about spoilers, like don't watch this video because I'm going to spoil a lot of this game. So if you don't want the game to be spoiled for you, click off this video and go and play it. Okay, so I'm going to get on with the positives first before the negatives. So let's start with gameplay. So the gameplay was good. I liked it how you interacted with other characters and the royal guards. We stand for the wonderful institute of no gravity Skywalker. We were showing signs of improvement today. Collecting and trading items to solve a problem. Jumping off flower pads to get to different platforms. And finally... Okay, so before I continue, uh, I'm not gonna really talk that much, like, during this video, because I don't know much about this game myself as well, so... So if you don't hear me talking that much, it's only because I don't understand the, the gameplay fully. A game that is not filled with microtransactions and pay to win. I hate pay to win games. Something that I feared might happen with this game, but I guess not. I also love the customization in this game. When I first played the game, I thought you had to go into the market to get to the customization, but instead you use these mirrors, which I think is actually cool. As for the mini games, I did like the dancing mini games. I'm not usually a fan of dancing games. I am a fan of just dance. Okay, so uh, okay, so in my opinion, uh, I'm not really much of a console gamer myself nowadays. I used to be back in like back in primary and secondary school, but after after that, you know, like once I started going to college, I just I said I just stopped, you know, playing console games that much because you know since I was studying. Since I was studying, you know, computing or whatever you call it, IT, I just learned to, you know, you know, play. I just, I just learned that, you know, computer games are more, you know, they're more of my style, to be honest. And, and I also want to say that, you know, you know, Just Dance is a very good game if you guys haven't played it before. And uh, I don't know if they've released a new Just Dance game yet for this year, but they probably have. So, yeah, I haven't played it myself, but the, but the gameplay is actually fun. But not usually the whole um, move the left stick and then move the left stick up, down, left, right, da da da, and all that stuff. I love the rounding up mini games where you have to round up all of the animals and put them into their different dens and stuff. So yeah, I don't think the mini games are that bad. Okay, so the negatives. 
The game is way too short. It took me about one day to complete it and then BAM! Complete Jesus. it. The game like, should have... One day to beat that game? Jesus, it's not like... It's not like Ben 10 Ultimate and Cosmic Destruction on the, the, on the DS which I got... Um, back in like a, know, a few a few months ago. Jesus, is it really that short? have been longer you know like an actual game sprout returns oh, but to be honest though i feel like i feel like the reason why games take at least one day beat is because you know like the creators of said game don't want to really you know bore people like you know like maybe a board and and i feel like some people don't like games where where the where the storyline is like so long that you have to spend like more than a day to complete it. Yes, these sprout from the new My Little Pony Generation movie. Oh no, not this guy. <sighs> okay, so for a little context here, in the movie My Little Pony Generation Five, whatever you called it, what was called? How do I explain it? Um. One of the villains in the movie, there's a villain basically who convinces this guy that he's a tyrant or whatever and tries to use him to take over a pony villa or whatever you call it, like like Maritime or Bay, I think. And, and at the end, uh, he's basically fired or something like that. I don't know. I watched the movie before, which is, I can't remember how it ends properly. And guys! Guess what? Sprout is the villain in the game! Okay, okay, go back. Jesus. Jesus, my guy looks like Inigo. Inigo, what's his name from? From uh, a Princess Bride's. Princess Bride. Guys, guess what? Sprout is the villain in the game! Whoa! Whoa! Yes. Whoa! You know, it's also whoa, bro. You, your hairline is whoa. Not a bad way, but it's just it's just weird. That's all. Oh! Whoa! Yep, Sprout is the reason why we go on this adventure. He's also the one that graffitied all of the billboards that. Okay, okay, um, the, um, one of the things I don't, I find weird about My Little Pony is that, you know, you know, ponies, ponies don't have hands, so how do they, you know, do things like pick up food or even, you know, graffiti stuff, that, that that's just weird. Uh, ponies are just weird in my opinion. That we have to repaint, like... Really, dude? Got nothing better to do? When the game got first announced, I was thinking of a new villain. Someone that maybe is tearing up and destroying the festival. But it turns out that it was Sprout all along. Which led me to disappointment because Sprout isn't... Uh, speaking of villains, uh, in the actual series itself, Generation 5, I believe chapter 1, 2, and 3... There's this weird purple, purple, like, alicorn or something like that, or alicorn, unicorn, whatever you call it. And uh, and she basically has, like, a spying pony bill who, who monitors the main five. Well, 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 I guess main six because, you know, what's the name? Got dragon, egg baby. I don't know. Really a good villain. I'm not gonna explain it in this video because this is a game review and not a movie review. They could have chose someone else or made an entirely different villain. The lip syncing in this game <laughs> is awful. Instead of the character's mouse following to what the characters are saying, they're just moving randomly like they're saying something else another thing that i encountered was a glitch where you can take off sunny's rollerblades and then she still starts skating <laughs> i'm not sure if you guys have encountered this glitch but let me know if you have 
I've got no negatives on Sprout's minigame. I would have preferred if they actually gave us a proper boss fight and not a boss chase. But yeah, I've got nothing really else to say about it. Okay, so... Would I recommend playing the game? Is it worth buying? Well, only with a couple of friends. When you're playing the story itself, it gets really boring and there's nothing really there to keep you from coming back. So yes, I think this is a game that should be played once or with a couple of friends, but never on your own. So this was my review on the My Little Pony, a Maritime Bay adventure game. And I don't think this game needs DLC, just an update to patch the lip syncing and fix up all of the glitches. But what is your lot's thoughts on this game? Honestly, honestly, Rashad, in my opinion, like this game is, it's all right in my opinion. Um, Even though I haven't played it, I would say that it's not a bad My Little Pony game. It's just that, you know, I feel like the the, the storyline and, you know, storyline-wise, it could have been improved more. Do you think that the game is okay? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's the greatest game you've ever played? Or do you think it's like, nah, it's bad? Throw it out the window, because I ain't playing that rubbish. Like, I would like to know your thoughts in the comments. So, without further ado, goodbye everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. And uh, that's the end of... And, and that's my reaction to his uh, game review. Uh, I actually have commented on this before, but it's, it's, it's not about the game itself. So basically, back when I was still making MLP gameplay, I... I commented since you're reviewing since you're a review in MLP games, what do you think of my flash game videos for MLP? And he goes, I think they're I think your playthrough of the games are great and uh, and uh, I still appreciate that he said that. And I don't know if he really meant it well I, well, well he has to like mean it because you know he's my friend, so I don't think he would lie to me or anything like that. I also like to comment here, why does G5 have video game but not G4 despite some the despite popularity um to to answer his comment, I think the reason why I think the reason why G4 didn't get a game is because you know how to how to explain it. I um I feel like people didn't really want a G4 game, maybe, or maybe or maybe Hasbro at the time like didn't want to make one for G four, so I don't know, but but maybe it's Hasbro or the people, or the people though I don't know. But anyways, guys, like that's all. That's it. Uh, hope you can, I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy my uh, reaction videos and and other things in the future. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.